Hi guys, we're back again, second cookie. So this cookie is another uh, recipe that I found on Pinterest and that would be super cool to do. These ones are gonna be gummy bear thumbprint cookies. So for the ingredients, we are going to need um, one cup of butter, which is equal to two sticks of butter, softened at room temperature. We're gonna need a half cup brown sugar packed, two egg yolks, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and three dozen of gummy bears, which this recipe calls for three dozen cookies. So it's pretty much 12 per cookie of each color that you choose. And today we're gonna go with the holiday theme, of course. So we have, um, we've picked out green gummy bears and red gummy bears. And then for the white, since obviously there's no white, we picked out the clear. So, and I know I said 12, but we just err on the side of caution and we just did um, quite a bit more than needed. And you're going to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And for the tools that you'll need, um, your stand mixer, hand mixer, if you need that, and you're gonna need uh, baking sheets, you're gonna need wax paper, and then spatula, a whisk. I always have a small spatula with a large spatula. And I use a spoon to add my flour into my mix. You don't have to, I just use this to slowly add my flour. And then you're gonna need those mini ice cream scoops, cookie scoops, they're one inch. And then, we're gonna start um, going over to our mixer and then we're gonna start incorporating our ingredients and we'll be right back. Okay, so for the first step, it says to cream together your butter, two sticks of butter and your brown sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and cream those together and we'll be right back. Okay, so now our butter and our brown sugar is mixed and cream and nice and fluffy. So now it suggests that we add our egg yolks one at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. The speed on low. And it says to go ahead and add the vanilla. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And also our salt. Now it says to add our flour in a spoon at a time, and that's when the spoon comes in handy. So I'm gonna add that in a spoon at a time on low, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added my flour, and I've mixed it for about a minute and a half, and I've just scraped down my paddle and the sides of the bowl, and I'm gonna give it one quick mix for about 30 seconds. And then the instructions say to cover the bowl with plastic wrap and set it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and that this will help prevent cracks um, when you make the center of your cookies when you press it with your thumb to make the indent for the gummy bears. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one quick mix for about 30 seconds, cover the bowl with plastic wrap, set it in the freezer for the 10 minutes, and then come back and then we are going to shape the cookies. We'll be right back. Okay, so we just took our bowl out of the freezer from being in there for 10 minutes. And it says to take our one inch scoops, roll them in balls, 
place them on our prepared wax sheet cookie sheets and place them about one and a half inches apart. And then after we've got them rolled, place your thumbprint in deep enough um, to make a spot for the gummy bears, but not too deep enough that it would crack your cookies. And then we're gonna place our cookies in the oven at 350 for about eight to 10 minutes um, so that they're underdone because when we pull them out, we're gonna place our one gummy bear in each cookie and then we're gonna bake them for about two to three minutes just until we see that the gummy bears have cool or cooked, melted, and it says it takes about two minutes for the gummy bears to melt. And then they're slightly golden brown and then we'll bring them out. And so then we will come back once we've taken the cookies out at the point that we're gonna place the gummy bear in each cookie. We'll be right back. Okay, so we just finished making the holes in our cookies and we're getting ready to stick them in the oven. Um, what I found best for mine was I took the small spatula that I have and I used the end of it. I just dipped it in um, a little bowl of flour and I lightly pressed um, around the insides and it seemed to give really good holes. So I found that to work really nice. So we're gonna stick these in the oven. Um, it says eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna check it at eight minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, so after eight minutes, we pulled them out and they actually came all the way back up. So I had to take this and poke the holes back down and we're going to now set our gummy bears in the holes and um, after I repoke them they're springing back up quickly so I'm going to have to quickly place them back in the holes and then we're going to put them back in the oven um, starting at two minutes and then we'll see where we go from there and then I'll come back and tell you how it went and show you how they look. We'll be right back. Okay, so it is three minutes that I've had them in there after I stuck the gummy bears on top and I just checked them and the gummy bears still haven't melted. So I put the timer on for another three minutes. So I'll come back and see if they're melted yet. Be back. Okay, so after I added the additional three minutes, um, they, the timer went off and they were perfect melt. I have to say, these are probably the cutest cookies I have ever made. I have, I have my doubts because when you cook them and then they pop back up and you lost that divot, I was really nervous and we had to push them back down. But, um, man, I, I am impressed. I'm very impressed. So cute. Um, so with all that said, as I'm talking... Let, let me show, I'll bring them to you because I literally just brought them out so I can't, I can't touch, that's okay, I'll bring them to them. So I'll just bring you to them because I can't, instead of, I don't want the, the gummy bears to spill out of the cookies, but um, that is what they look like. They're so cute. The red, the clear, and then the green. So these are by far one of the cutest cookies I have ever made. So that, I mean, these are a must try because they, they are so much fun. And even if they're not for holiday, you can use any favorite color gummy bears. Um, but you chop up gummy worms and use those too. Yeah, gummy worms. And I might even go as far as trying um, Jolly Ranchers. I don't see, maybe crushing those up in the food processor and, and putting those in there. Um, who knows? Options are endless. But I am extremely satisfied They're with so the cute. way these turned out. I'm so it's happy. Very cute. So you just let these cool completely room temperature and then I'll be packing these up along with all of the other goodies that I've made so far. We. And that we've made so far. And um, taking those up with us tomorrow on our trip to Noonan. And we've got one more video to make. Um, Brittany will be making her holiday chocolate chip cookies, replacing the chocolate chips. <laughs> so stay tuned for that one too. Again, thank you guys so much thank for, you for watching. watching. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope maybe you make them yourselves. So thank you again. See you soon. Bye.